Hey you guys, it's me Mumu and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the five things that you might not know about me. And I'm actually super excited for this because maybe they might shock you, maybe not, I don't know. Let's get right to it. So the first thing that you guys might not know about me is that I'm actually extremely sentimental and compassionate. I feel like I am more empathetic than most people um, and I tend to put myself in other people's shoes very often and so I feel a lot when I have a certain conversation with someone in specific and maybe even with someone I just met. I also care a lot. Um, and I'm always willing to lend a hand and I think that's what makes me so compassionate and so helpful. I'm an Enneagram 2 wing 3 so it makes total sense why I am the way I am. The second thing that you guys might have not known about me is that I used to write song lyrics throughout my teenage years. Yes, this is a fact. I have composition notebooks filled with song lyrics that I just came up with at the top of my head. I feel like my teenage years were like my peak for learning about love, for writing about love, and for actually figuring out love. So yeah, you can also say I'm kind of very sappy as well. And because it was kind of like my peak and it was kind of like what I really enjoyed doing at the time, apart from writing because I'm sure all of you know that I am a writer, I liked it. I don't know, it could go somewhere, could not. Might make a musical one day, who knows? <laughs> the third thing that you might not know about me is that I strongly believe in astrology. I got into astrology at a very young age um, and I think it's partly because I used to, or I still am, good at remembering people's birthdays and I associate their birthdays with their astrological signs, obviously. But the reason why I strongly believe in it is because I feel like we're influenced by the placements in our charts and I feel like that also influences the way that we talk to other people and the way that we approach situations in life. And of course, it's not only your sun, you also have your moon, your rising, your houses and the planets, like the degrees in which the planets are placed when it comes to your aspects and um, your houses as well. There's a lot that goes into it and if you guys want to learn more, I can totally do like a YouTube video dissecting my birth chart for you guys. I think that'll be really interesting because I'll also be learning in the process. So let me know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> the fourth fact that you might not know about me is that I also danced classical ballet for about 13 years and the reason that I dan started dancing classical ballet to begin with was because I used to be really shy as a kid. Growing up I would be afraid to speak to other people, um, I would kind of feel ashamed for speaking my mind and I was the kind of person that was afraid to just like speak up during any situation. Sometimes I did feel bad that I didn't have a say in anything but also it was my fault because I could have said something but I just didn't so with that backstory my mom decided okay maybe putting her in ballet maybe putting her in dance will help her grow out of her shell a little bit and it did just that as I grew older um, I started getting better obviously and I also started becoming more outgoing. By the time I got to middle school, I was actually really popular. So popular girl, cheerleader, knew a lot of people. Um, and then when I got to high school, I stopped. When I got to high school and I turned 15, I stopped. And I do feel bad about that. I feel like if I wouldn't have stopped dancing when I got to high school, um, I probably would have ended up being a big deal in the dance world, I probably would have pursued different avenues of growing myself as a ballerina, as a dancer. But at the same time, I don't regret my decision because at the end of the day, it helped me come out of my shell and become more confident 
in my abilities in my discipline and just like who i am as a person the fifth fact is that i don't like scary movies i don't know if you guys knew this or not but i'm not like a scary movie kind of person ever i've never been that way it has to do with like past trauma but also the fact that i don't like blood or needles or anything that is associated with scary movies i'm actually terrified of them and i'm not gonna get into details but one time i went out with my best friend at the time and we went to this haunted fair i guess you can call it like uh, it was like a carnival but it also had like a haunted house i'm not gonna lie like i kind of like i was confident about everything and she was like oh why don't we go in the haunted house and i'm like yeah yeah let's make the line to go to the haunted house i was in line for this haunted house i don't think i was even like five steps into the line i see these people okay obviously they're like actors or whatever like people that dress up come out of this fence like right next to me okay and they're already like in their creepy mode like hovering and they're trying to like scare you and stuff and i just see them coming out of the fence and i just burst into tears oh my god no i can't do this and my best friend is like oh my god are you okay and i'm crying like i couldn't even explain why i was crying what happened like i just wanted to get out of there like i didn't want to see anything else i remember like i was walking out of the of the line and there were like these group of people i'm never gonna forget this there was these group of people um it was probably like five or six like kids our age maybe a little older at the time and they literally stopped me and they were like comforting me they're like oh my god are you okay like do you need anything do you need water this and that like they were just trying like being so attentive to me while i was crying and like and it was just the sweetest thing ever i was still crying though because i don't deal with scary stuff mm -mm. that's not how i roll mm -mm. nope long story short i don't do anything scary not only scary movies scary in general and if i'm with someone or like a group of people i might consider it but it doesn't always mean that i'll watch it like you guys can go ahead and watch your scary movie i'll be in the room I'm in the kitchen eating your snacks um i'm gonna be as far away as possible from the area because i just i i can't as much as i try i cannot watch like a scary movie like but what i mean by scary movie is like gruesome chucky house of wax freddy krueger i don't know if bloody mary is a movie but her either we don't like her mm -mm, not here yeah i don't like them they're not welcome in my space okay and for good reason i'm trying to sleep at night but apart from that those are pretty much the five things that you probably didn't know about me that now you do and i hope that going forward i get to showcase that more often i also wanted to say that i've kind of been like running out of youtube ideas but i just wanted to share with you some goals for the rest of february going into march one of my goals is to raise my blog traffic so if you want to check out my blog i will post the link in the description box below another thing is that i am trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of this year but hopefully going into march i have maybe 40 maybe 50 i'm not trying to highball it too much but i really 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 want to get to 1000 subscribers so if you can subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe and check out my channel it would mean so much to me and it would be a really big deal another thing is that i am currently working on a book i am actually in the process of writing a book and i'm really excited to release it i just want to know a couple of things number one are you guys interested in watching videos of me write the process of me writing or do you want me to do like a behind the scenes kind of like short video of everything put together until the end so like me writing me coming up with the cover art me putting the book together downloading uploading it 
marketing it and stuff like that and the last thing is if i were to write another book after this one what kind of book would you like to see me write right now i'm currently working on a book about relationships it's about four different kinds of relationships familial self-love relationship romantic relationships and friendships i will be going into detail with each category and i will also be talking about my personal experiences with these four i've also added journaling questions at the end of each chapter just to kind of get your thoughts flowing and kind of like insert yourself and really think about the relationships that you're building that you have yet to build right now just let me know what you're most interested in seeing from me and from my channel i know that i'm willing to work with you guys and i'm willing to showcase everything that i can without giving too much away if you guys want to see more of the process i'll probably be doing more instagram lives and i'll probably be posting more reels on my instagram which i'll post here that concludes my five things you didn't know about me video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned a little something that you might have not known before. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.